Hi, it's Pugmas Flash. Today we're we'll doing a two-in-one Lego Star Wars review of the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack and the Rebels Battle Pack. So let's look at the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack first. So out of the two, this one's probably my preferred one. It comes with a lot of very cool Bounty Hunters. So let's have a look at them. So the first one is this new uh, character to the Star Wars minifigure world. He's got these very cool, like alien eyes there kind of looks like a dark giant fly and of course he's got his um blaster as well we've also got ig88 a very cool new updated version of this awesome assassin droid and he also has a blaster on his back like a, a big rifle there you also get Den Dengar, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's another very cool bounty hunter. He's got um, um, a pack on his back. Pack on his back. And then there's also uh, Bosk, which I really like this new updated version of him. They've got his colour tone more accurate. And he's also got actually claws on his feet, which is a nicer um more accurate thing and then we've also got this speeder but we never really saw this in the movie so it's nothing amazing but just come with some like blasters quite, uh, quite an excessive amount of blasters if you ask me but never mind the more the better i guess and then there's uh, another like backpack on the back with a booster there so that is the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack set. The next one is the Rebel set, where you get an, uh, four minifigures with this one as well. You get this blue alien one, a nice addition with this uh, jet pack on the back, which is a nice new molded piece. And then there's also this other figure, which is a Rebels figure again, and he's got a, uh, a jet pack on the back again with those like transparent blue pieces showing that he's flying that's another cool figure he's also got this newly molded actually i don't think it is new but it's a nice um mold um for his cap and then we also get another one of those the same species as greedo uh, one of the most iconic characters in star wars uh, but with a slightly darker green tone it's a cool figure and on the back you get just like um, a normal rebel guy with um some binoculars that's nice and then there's also a another blaster on the back i think i like this speeder slightly more than the other one because it looks more realistic for the star wars saga and then there's also another blaster there Okay, that is my review for the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack and the Rebel Battle Pack sets. So, thanks for watching. Bye.